free will absolutely exists. Absolutely. See, I stood up. Sit down. Right? No plans to do that. But you asked. You asked about free will. So I thought, well, right, let's have a demonstration. Basically, I'm sitting here. Sitting here through the end of satsang. But just to prove a point, I can do this. I can, right, I can, I could dance. We could, we could do all sorts of things. I could juggle with the microphone. Okay. All sorts of things that you are definitely not planned in terms of when you think of the, the, the plan of the evening of satsang. The question about it comes in with its relationship to karma and destiny. And what we know is that in this moment we have free will. What we don't have, of course, is retrospective free will. So I don't get to rewrite history. Which means, of course, I don't get to rewrite where I am in this moment. In this moment is what you could call predetermined, which is the flip side of free will and where the debate comes in. This moment is predetermined. Did you have a choice about being here? No. You were all predetermined to be here. But predetermined how and by what? Well, by all of the choices and decisions that you made in all of the moments of your life leading up to the very moment before you walked in the door to satsang. Are you going to be here tomorrow night? Well, that's based on the decisions you make today. If you get in a bus tonight from Rishikesh to Delhi, no, you're not going to be here with us tomorrow evening. If you decide, oh, I'm here on the banks of Ganga. I've been touched. I've been inspired. Yeah, I was planning to get on the bus, but I'm allowing myself to be touched, and I'm going to stay back. You'll be with us. Tomorrow night when we sit here, again, those of you who will be sitting here will be sitting here because you've been predetermined to be here. But that predetermining of tomorrow includes the choices you make now. All the moments prior to now and now. So that which we've done in the past has predetermined my present. That which I'm doing now is predetermining my future. It's not pre as in some very obscure, vague concept of pre. It's just determined prior to the moment. Based on your sanskaras, your, your patterns, what type of person you are, we all know we've all got different types of habits. We could all walk into a restaurant and order, you know, 50 different things, 50 different patterns of living behavior. Those are our sanskaras, our patterns, our habits. But we've also all had different opportunities. We have different sadhana practice. I mean, there's, there's, innumerable aspects that go into that predetermining, as well, of course, as your karma. So for example, if yesterday, prior to arriving here, you robbed a store or a bank, and you're running from the police, there's a good chance you won't be here tomorrow night anyway, even if you want to be, because eventually the police are going to catch up with you and throw you in jail. Now, tonight, sitting here, you may decide, ah, oh, I'm touched, I want to stay back. But you no longer actually have that free will because of the choice you made yesterday. You don't get to say to the police when they come to arrest you, oh, but wait, I've changed my mind. I don't want to go to jail. I've been touched. I want to stay and listen to satsang. Too bad. You made a choice yesterday that's determining your tomorrow.
so some aspects, I mean, it's all predetermined, but some of the pre is long ago. Some of the pre is immediate. You could have, you could have gotten to the door and walked away. So some aspects of the predetermination of why you're, why you're here, some are going to go back to your parents, how they raised you, the sanskaras they gave you. Some are going to go back to choices you made a few years ago. Some are going to go back to choices you made a few weeks ago, some a few days ago, some a few hours ago. The sum total of all of that has brought you here. Which means... When we think about our life, since we cannot go backwards, we cannot re rewind our lives, we have absolutely no control, zero, over the karmic fruit of things we've already done. The only piece of the puzzle that we have any control over is the addition to the karmic package of the choices we make now. And that's what our free will is. So some part of what your tomorrow is going to look like is predetermined. So you're still going to be that same height. You're going to still be the same weight. You're still, I mean, all, all of those things are still going to be there. If you went and got a tattoo today, you'd wake up tomorrow morning with a tattoo if you got, you know, some part of your body pierced today, you'd wake up tomorrow morning with a hole in that part of your body. So it's not entirely free will. You couldn't wake up in the morning and, you know, decide, I don't want to have any holes in my body. Well, too bad. You've already, you've already done that. But there's a lot, a lot that's as yet undetermined. And that's where our free will comes in. So rather than worrying too much about stuff over which we have no control, it's much better to focus our attention on the stuff over which we do have control, which is the choices we're making. And we leave the rest in God's hands. You know, God, you know what I've done. Some of it I don't even know. Past life stuff, I don't even know. I don't even know all the aspects of my, you know, astrological pieces. God, only you know that. You know my past life stuff. You know my astrology stuff. You know all of this. All I have, the only piece I have is choices I make. So you take care of the choices you have, and you leave the rest to God to take care of the rest.